What's good, my lady committee? Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video with the equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit that you already know what time it is. Now, let's go. Now, a lot of you were messaging me, DMing me, saying, when was I going to make a review of this project? And I really needed a bit of time to kind of digest it, kind of take it in, kind of reel in all the all the pyrexicity of it, if that's even a word. But today, you should already know, we're talking about the one and only project called Made in the Pyrex by none other than Digger D. I'm not going to lie, it was only yesterday where I was actually walking through Tesco and I saw a Pyrex dish live in the flesh. And I was like, wait, I've seen that name before. And then it all started to come back to me because I knew that it was a... It was a mixing dish, but I, I didn't really know it was an actual whole brand. I thought it was more of a, a colloquial term. So that's kind of clarified a bit of the bando stuff for me. So it's all good over there. But yeah, Stiggity's first project of 2021 is out and we're going to break it down. Usual track by track rundown. There's not a lot of tracks on here. I think it's about 12. So I can basically go through everyone. And yeah. That's what we're going to get into right now. But you already know what you got to do. You just got to like, comment, subscribe to keep you up to date every time I drop a banger like this one. And hit that notey because you're in the nitty so you can be the first to know when one of these videos comes out. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first track on the project is called Intro. And I'm not going to lie, I was rating the ad-libbing and the instrumental was really pumping all types of fury from the get-go. It had a little bit, bit of a piano thing going on in it, which you know from the Fredo album that I do like and appreciate a bit of piano in the instrumental. And Diggity actually got into his singing bag on here, I'm not going to lie. He was saying something like sitting in my cell, chatting to my man's girl, something like that. And he was proper doing a bit of an Adele thing there. And I was like, wow, singing. I was not expecting that from Digger D. But hey, get your variety off. I'm here for it. <laughs> the second track is called Blue Woo. And he actually released a video for this a couple days ago. The bars in this are crazy. Digger D is hundo in his element on this song. And of course... The Nicky bar gassed me. <laughs> it definitely gassed me. And yeah, Digger's just spitting his usual his usual shit here. Like about how he's the number one driller. His ops ain't on what he's on. You know, all that good stuff. All that good gangster ragamuffin talk that I'm sure you're extremely familiar with by now. The next song was called Chingy, It's Whatever. Obviously, this is one of the singles that he dropped last year. I think I've already expressed how lit this tune is, and I'm sure you guys already know. You've probably listened to it enough times, so there's not much to say here. A good single, or as Digger D would say, it's whatever. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. The next song was Bringing It Back. Again, another single with him and obviously AJ Tracy. They were both going back to their roots with the flows that initially blew them up in the UK. Obviously for AJ, that was Packages, that song. And then for Diggity, that was Next Up, respectfully. And yeah, a very enjoyable track. Pretty much, you know, does what it says on the tin, to be honest. They're just bringing it back to how they used to rap, I guess. The next track was called No Chorus. And... Wow, Digger D, he's teamed up with the rookie himself, Millions. And let me just say, the chemistry between these two is amazing. It's borderline orgasmic, no homo. Millions comes in with that typical flow, that typical flow that sounds like he's explaining why he was late to class or explaining why he forgot to bring his ingredients to food tech. He's just spitting all types of fire and the back and forth between these two is basically unmatched i will defo be adding this one to the playlist millions even tried to mimic digger d in this song as well and i'm not gonna lie i thought that was quite funny and we actually got digger d letting us know that he still hasn't cut his nails <laughs> and i think at this point i'm starting to get a bit concerned about that it sounds a bit weird to me but hey your nails, your choice, as they say. I don't know if they say that, but maybe they should. Maybe that's a new hashtag, your nails, your choice should be trending. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The next song was called White. And now again, we have another smash single. Another track that I've expressed numerous times that how fire it is and how good of a song it is. So I don't really need to go into it. I'm sure you lot already know what Woy is and what time it is with Woy. 
The next track was called Clout is Killing My People. And honestly, I don't know what this was, to be honest. Like, I don't know if it was an interlude or if it was like a, a preview or, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it seemed quite out of place, to be honest. It just seemed like unnecessary. I don't know why I put it in there, but... I don't know if he was trying to send a message or something like that, but maybe that one should have been a phone call or something like that. You know what people do on interludes, but I don't know. It just seemed a bit weird to me. Let me know in the comments if you thought that was in place or not. I did personally. This next tune is called Falknem, and this one is another fire tune. He obviously teamed up with Savo and DK, and they both done their thing on this song. They sounded like they were, you know, flowing off each other quite nicely. They were all coming in with good bars. It seemed energetic. No one felt like they were slacking. It felt like their energy was being kept up throughout the entire song, which, of course, we love. Next song was called My Brucky. And, yeah, this was another cool track. Diggity was bragging about who he shot, all that gangster stuff, you know. And, again, he, he started to sing on this one a bit, too. And it seemed like... Diggity, he's trying to do the singing thing quite a few times on this album. He's adding a bit of variety and I'm not sure how I feel about it, to be honest. But, hey, he was saying, you know, I, 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 can't, I can't hate on it. That's all I'll say. I'll say that much. The next song is called Gunman Sound. And Diggity jumps on the song and says it's for all the gunmen. So I don't know if they, I should necessarily be listening to this one. But, yeah, he's going hard. He's going aggressive on the track. He's got an aggressive flow. He's got a little bit of a mm, like background sound, which was sounding very pop smokish. I could definitely imagine pop smoke on this particular instrumental. And yeah, it was a good track. And at the end, he said that he doesn't beat children. He just waits till they grow big and he shoots them, which, wow, <laughs> a bit of a crazy violent line there. I don't know what to make of that one. I mean... I don't know if you should be watching a child that low. I don't know. I, I don't want to get into it. It's a bit of a crazy line, you know. Let me know what you think about that line. The next track is called Window and... Oh, whoa, boy. Nigga D is getting into his Jamaican, Patois, Caribbean sound on this one. He even put on the accent and everything. And I was thinking, oh, okay. He wants to play... The, he wants this playing at the Jamaican family barbecues. Let's be real. And now I know he was proper doing the Caribbean thing because he even did the squeaky voice thing, which, if you don't know, is a classic kind of quirk on these Caribbean rhythms. That meaning... Like, That's not the way you sing that song, man. That voice that sounds like they're on the toilet or they're lifting weights when they're recording. It's that kind of... It was, it was that kind of voice that I was hearing. I'm not going to lie. Final track was called Trust Issues and Diggity ends the album talking about basically how he doesn't trust anyone and that even includes people in his family and the distrust in his circle. He again used the Jamaican accent again here and I was just like, wow, what is it with these UK rappers and this Jamaican accent thing or Caribbean accent thing? Because Chip was doing it as well and I was just like, I don't know. I don't know if that's a trend. I hope it doesn't start to become a trend, but it might do just from me saying it, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to make of it, you know, some some sound better than others, that's all, I'll say that much. But um, yeah, overall, I'd say that this is a very solid effort from Digga D, you know, I did say that he's one of the people that we needed a full project from him this year for him to really, you know, take off and solidify himself. And it seems like that's what he's giving. He seems like he's dropping videos for fun. He's dropping songs for fun. Digga D seems like he's in a very good position and if he keeps up the consistency this year he could be well on his way to being one of the top artists out in the UK right now if he's not already and me personally I would have felt like this is the time for him to kind of go a bit more commercial and he could have you know diversified the features a little bit more or well there's only two on there really so maybe he could have added like some more features on there with some different artists tried experimenting with the sound a bit more or if he, I would have, I at least want him to do that on the next one. To start experimenting a bit. Don't do the heady one, that album that he dropped, that name, the name that I can't remember, <laughs> that I'll have to put the picture in after. Don't do that level of experiment. But kind of, you know, switch up the sound slightly. Sli but as they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it's not broke right now. So, you know, maybe don't take my advice. <laughs> I don't know. You guys got to let me know. But yeah, good album, good effort. Thank you, Diggity. I will be bumping this for some time to come.
But let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Do you think that this album was a good album and that Digger D has solidified himself as one of the top people in the UK with this project? Or do you think that it's a bunch of baloney that I don't know what I'm talking about and this album was garbage, trash, dumpster juice? You let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You're on the road to 500 subs and you already know what time it is. You can follow me on my IG at lit.ent underscore underscore for all your music scene updates. Follow me on my personal at the only lit.ent if you care about what I do when I'm not making these bangers for you. I post updates on Twitter as well, so you might as well follow me on there because what else are you doing with your life? absolutely nothing mate stay black and if you're not black stay whatever race you are i bet peace oh you ain't know i can sing